Welcome to basic form creation using ASP.NET. In this video we will be publishing TM1 views and subsets using Enterprise Services Manager to make them available for use by our applications. Now that we have completed our prototype we are ready to publish the views and subsets from TM1 that will be used by the controls in our web page. When we look at the web page, we see that we have three drop downs one for version, one for business unit, and one for year, and one table. Drop downs are typically supplied by TM1 subsets, and tables are usually supplied by views. So let's take a look at TM1 and see what we have available to us to drive the controls of the web page. Notice that we have in our monthly compensation planning view a set of dimensions that belong to the cube. Let's see what these dimensions have that we can use. Now by navigating down the list of dimensions we can see that the version dimension has a subset called versions which contains the leaf level elements of the dimension that correspond to the different versions that the user can select. This looks pretty good for our purposes. The business unit dimension uh, also has a subset called department which contains a leaf level list of all the departments by which the user can report on monthly compensation planning. And this also looks pretty good for our web page. Finally we have the year dimension which has two different subsets one for all years and one for just forecast years. Since we're going to allow the user to look historically as well as into the future, we want to use the year subset, which starts in 2009 and goes through 2011. In all, three dropdowns we have in our form can be served up by three existing subsets without creating any new ones. So we are ready to publish the subsets as a web service method. We start off by going to Enterprise Services Manager page. When the manager first opens, it shows us all of the queues which are defined in the system. So by expanding on the employee queue, we can see the list of all the views that have been created, either in TM1 or in Enterprise Services directly. The checkbox to the left of the view indicates that this view is published and is available for use as a web method. The view has already been published, so it's ready for us to use in our grid. Now, if we're unsure about what the view contains, we can press on the preview button to see what data will be returned. This looks like what we want, so we can now look at the dimensions. Switch over to the dimensions list by clicking on the dimension tab and expand the business unit dimension. We see that the departments subset is already published and let's take a quick look at this one and it shows the departments and the names which is perfect for our drop downs so let's move on to the other dimensions. Now we look at the version dimension and we see here that there's a subset called versions which has also been published and lastly let's take a look at the years dimension and we notice that the year subset is also published. So we seem to have everything that we need. Let's go ahead and create the necessary data sources and connect them to the controls we have in place on our web page prototype. This concludes publishing TM1 views and subsets using Enterprise Services. In the next video, we will cover how to create the data sources and bind them to the controls in our web page.